everyone, so quick video, uh, there were some new details revealed yesterday in a post uh, by the Mirror's Edge Twitter and Facebook account, basically saying which way do you prefer to travel or which way do you think would be like the most awesome way to travel, grapple hook or drones? And I originally thought, because they, they showed this in the story trailer, they showed Faith hanging from a drone and, you know, she, the thing was flying all over the place and she's just hanging for her life, right? Um, well, apparently, I, I thought that was a set piece and I think that that particular segment is still a set piece. I doubt that the interaction with the world, it's going to actually look like that every single time you hop on a drone where it's going to take you crazy and she's going to, you know, use her feet to kick off build buildings and things like that. I, I doubt that that's going to happen exactly like that. Um, in real time gameplay, but the thought of it is awesome that those drones are not just there to merely patrol and you know guard shit that they're actually they actually have some gameplay use to them. So at this point, it's really Mirror's Edge Catalyst is basically my whole idea for what a Mirror's Edge sequel I, I wanted from a Mirror's Edge sequel. You guys remember when I did that video, how to how to make Mirror's Edge two game of the year? I I just Every single thing I said in that video, minus the story and minus the multiplayer, is in this game. Every single thing. I mean, let's think about it. I, I suggested, hey, wouldn't it be awesome if we put a grapple hook in the game? And they put a grapple hook in the game. Wouldn't it be awesome if we made it open world? The game is open world. Wouldn't it be possible if you could jump on helicopters and, and just hang from the helicopters and they would take you around the city and you can let go at certain points throughout the game and uh, this would be a cool fast way to travel and be cool because you can see the aerial view of the cities. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just jump on helicopters and do that? Well now you can in Catalyst just instead of helicopters it's drones. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, I feel like the whole game is like based off my ideas, which which I'm personally excited for. Um, I don't know. Some some people um, say, well, well, aren't, wouldn't you be a little bit annoyed, you know, considering that like, w don't you want credit or something like that? It's like, I, I I said in that video that I give I gave them my whole ideas completely for free to use. I mean, in that video, I relinquished all of my rights and owns and, and, and uh, you know I, ideas to them free at their disposal free at charge I don't personally care whether I get credit or not although at this point I'm actually curious if my name's gonna pop up in the credits just because of the ideas that I've said in that video they're, they're all present in this game um, I, I'm just curious if, if, if my name's gonna be in the credits like at the end special thanks industrial gamer YouTube like just right there but I don't know we'll, we'll have to see until the game comes out but uh, yeah, this is great news though. This is exciting. I mean, I just want you guys to imagine um, just just kind of playing the game in the open world. Oh, you see a drone, you run towards it, you jump on, you hang from it, and it takes you around the city. I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> I mean, I'm actually curious at this point to see whether you can actually go into buildings, because another thing I suggested was like these moments where you're running through the city, all of a sudden you jump into a building, like an office building for instance, and you're running through the hallway of the office building and you can see and hear people working in the background. Uh, people are like startled that you just came through like the window and you're running through the offices so papers are flying all over the place. Maybe that's going to be in the game somehow too. Maybe we're going to be allowed to go in um, buildings. I don't know how, of course it's an open world game so we'll have access to some buildings and interior spots. But I'm curious to see how many interior spots and whether or not these interiors are going to be fully explorable. Uh, we still have yet to know anything about the multiplayer for the game, but we have that beta coming up. Maybe that's going to give us an insight, but I think my I think my, my ideas for a multiplayer, I, not, not that they were too ambitious, but I think, I think that the fact that we're even getting a sequel to Mirror's Edge in the first place is very lucky. And I think EA is saying, you know what? Spend all your time on the single player portion. Well, we'll give you this. We'll give you X amount of money to spend on the single player portion. All right, put some multiplayer in there if you really want to. And then next time, if Mirror's Edge Callus is successful, next time we'll uh, make a bigger budget for the game. You can put a bigger multiplayer in there and things like that. Because I still think the idea of free roam multiplayer with like a with a player count like the size of Battlefield, right? A free roam multiplayer create customize your own runner hitting collectibles throughout the entire city that you have to go and find 
um, different challenges and stuff that you can do with friends, different missions, and a world that feels dynamic. So, okay, I'm in another person's game, right? Okay, we're, we're, all, we're all in one big game, right? There's like 64 people all in this entire uh, huge map of the city, right? Um, so, okay, these people on this far side of the city caused this big car crash or explosion or whatever. They did, they do something to mess with the, uh, uh, the, 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 the peacekeepers, the patrol force or whatever. Um, and so you hear all these sirens and stuff coming from this city and that kind of affects your game in a way too, you know, because what one person does in a multiplayer game affects you know you if you're in, if you're a part of the same world the same connected world so i still think that that's like a great idea um uh, i just don't I, I think that's a little bit too ambitious for a return project but this is a reboot they're trying it again they're going to do it right this time if it is successful then i think what will ha what will happen is we'll get a sequel that's like much you know grander in scale probably will be taking place in a different city entirely too because um, remember, Mirror's Edge is part of a continent, well, well kind, of, kind of like, I don't want to say continent, but it's a, it's a whole uh, country, sort of, you know, and Glass is just one major city, if you will, in this large area. There's supposed to be all these different cities, and Glass just happens to be the most technologically, most business-esque of the other ones that, that are existing. So we'll have to wait and see, all right? Um, I'm super excited, this is good news. We can hop on drones at any time during gameplay to help us take, uh, to help us get through the city a lot faster and uh, skip over some few buildings and stuff. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I fully expect fast travel is gonna be in this game. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Who else is not gonna use fast travel? I mean, when the gameplay is so, so innovative and so new it's like why do you even want to fast travel in the first place i'd rather just parkour there explore this beautiful world you know it's it's gonna be awesome so I, i'm really looking forward to it uh i cannot wait for the game to come out and uh hopefully that beta is soon cannot wait to do my preparing for mirror's edge catalyst at the end of this month watch my channel update if you don't know what that is and i'll see you all uh later have a good one